I want to do a video on impatience and I suppose in my mind I'm thinking that disparity between where we are now and where we think we should be and it, it, it's very much the product of comparison um, unable to kind of accept things as they are now and constantly comparing our, ourselves with the achievements of other people and I've spoken about this before and comparison is just human nature um, we're all prone to it, I'm prone to it, I find myself comparing uh, me to other people in the industry and where they are and I have to catch myself and because I know it's, it's no good and it's, it's energy that could be better spent doing other things um, and for me it's, it's very much about finding balance um, in terms of being grateful for where I am now and the things that are happening in my life now but also staying focused on where I want, where I want to go and I find that people talk about gratitude but they're not really and to me gratitude is being grateful for the absolute smallest things in life for example getting up in the morning and turning the key in the car and the car starts great I'm delighted for that having very little traffic on the road someone making a really minor compliment someone doing something so small for you but it's being grateful for it and being appreciative but at the same time staying focused on where we want to go and it is it's that balance it's trying to balance in the middle where we're happy where we are now but we have to stay focused moving forward but I find that a lot of people spend too much time looking at where other people are and their achievements and it, it is energy that's better spent back on you and, and just doing the work that you need to do to get you to that place so it is taking focus away from other people and back on yourself and um, again taking the focus away from achieving stuff and achieving success and again that's something I've had to do in the last few months my energy is, is away from you know the good things that want to happen per se and back on the actual work I need to do for those good things to happen in my career so it is cutting the cord in terms of you know don't invest too much energy in the future do focus on it think about where you want to go but take your energy away from it then and bring it right back into now and the work that you have to do and forget about what other people are doing and where they are in their life because everybody's in on a different path and Really, we have no right to compare ourselves to other people because we don't know where they are, the, t the struggles that they face, the challenges that they've dealt with, and the path that they're on. And we're all on a different path. And, and also be aware that we all have our own strengths and our own weaknesses. And, you know, you're comparing yourself with someone whose set of strengths is completely different from yours. Um, for example, me... I've, I've, I've said this before, I'm not the most academic person you'll ever meet. I know my strengths lie elsewhere. My strengths are generally my ability to relate to people and form really healthy bonds and connections. Um, I wouldn't be the most um, scholarly person you'll ever meet. Um, and I know that and I accept that. That doesn't mean I don't do the work. I don't keep doing the studying and keep reading and understanding um, life and the different theories around life as best I can. But I know that my strengths lie in elsewhere and your strengths will lie elsewhere as well. So again, these are reasons why we should not compare with others and we have to learn to be much more patient with ourselves. Um, I think as well that understanding the realities of change and change takes time and it, it is very much relative to the amount of work you put in but your own level of understanding and your own life experiences and again we're all so unique that our level of understanding is 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 unique in itself and we can't force that we have to be patient and just give it its time and with and take away the sting of, of not having success from that take away the sting of pressure that I, you have to perform in relation to other people there's no need to perform and um, there's no competition i don't believe in competition i believe that we are where we are we just do the work on ourselves and that's all that matters success comes after it's secondary and it may not come but it's a relevant because it's all about your own development and your own growth and and learning to slow down and relax and enjoy the experiences enjoy learning just for what it is and um, the outcome will come it'll come in its own time and in, in the right time you know and you have to know when it's your time and I think everyone is, is, is guilty of that. Again, it's all the byproduct of, of comparison. And you could be comparing different things. You could be comparing yourself with someone else who was younger than you. And they seem to be achieving more. But again, you don't know what path they're on. The type of experiences that they've had that brought them to where they are now. Where you are now is where you were. It's irrelevant where everyone else is. You have no right to compare yourself. And you have no need to be impatient. So it is all about slowing down, relaxing, and enjoying your experience. And enjoy learning. And forget 
forget about um, the, the achievement, the success, the end game. Of course, stay a little bit focused, but don't invest too much energy in that. Invest all your emotional energy in where you are now and what's right in front of you and what you're trying to learn. And you will absorb it more and it will actually lead you to a better path to success. Um, focusing too much on over there will not bring you there. You have to stay present as best you can and you may find you get better results from that. So that's it, guys. Just a quick video. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.